Hello everyone, I am Shubhrakanti Kaviraj. I work for PKI India team of CDAC Bangalore. Today I shall be demonstrating the creation and verification of digital signature using C Sharp language in Windows platform. We will be using Bouncy Castle API for C Sharp as a cryptographic library for all the cryptographic operations involved in creation and verification of digital signature. For writing the C-Sharp program, we will be using Visual Studio 15 as the IDE. First, I will show you how to get the Bouncy Castle API for C-Sharp and add this library in your project. Open the browser and just type Bouncy, Bouncy Castle API for C sharp and click the first link download the zip file from that website once you have downloaded extract the zip file at any location after extraction you can open the folder and verify the presence of Bouncy Castle Crypto DLL file. Now I shall show you how to create a new project using Visual Studios and add the Bouncy Castle library in your project. Just open Visual Studios, click on New Project, and select Console Application. Give any name to your project. So I have given the name as Encryption Decryption and click OK. Once the project solution opens, you can see some tabs on the right hand side. One of the tab is reference. You have to add the Bouncy Castle crypto library using that reference tab. So for adding, just click add reference in your reference tab and browse where that library is situated select and add to your project once you have added the reference to your project you are ready to use that library i have already created a project with all the steps of key generation signing and verification i shall open the project and go through the code for your understanding here is my sample code for digital signing and verification. If you want to check whether your crypto library is added to your project or not, expand the references tab. You can see the Bouncy Castle crypto DLL added to your project. Now you need to import some namespaces in order to use the functions. Here you can see some of the namespaces I have already imported. If by mistake you do not import any namespace, the IDE is intelligent enough to prompt you for importing the namespaces. Here if I scroll down in my code, you can see one error is generated in RSA key pair generator, which shows that you are missing a, a assembly reference. Now the IDE is giving you this show potential fixes if you click on that it will show you which all import you should do in order to remove the errors the first it is matching with my error so if i click on this one it will automatically import the namespace within my project for key pair generation process i have instantiated rsa key pair generator class then initialize that object with some random value and the size of RSA key pair. Here I have taken the size of RSA key pair to be 2048 bit. If you want to change the key size, you can change here depending upon your requirement. Finally, I am calling the generate key pair function to generate the asymmetric RSA key pair. Private key and public key may further be extracted as 
आर एस ए की पैरामीटर्स टू प्रिंट द पब्लिक की इन पेम फॉर्मेट आई एम यूजिंग पेम राइटर इनिशियलाइज विथ टेक्सट राइटर ऑब्जेक्ट द सेम लाइन ऑफ कोड मे बी यूज फॉर प्रिंटिंग द प्राइवेट की एज वेल बाई रिप्लेसिंग द अप्रोप्रिएट पैरामीटर्स फॉर साइनिंग आई एम यूजिंग गेट साइनर फंक्शन ऑफ साइनर यूटिलिटी क्लास पैरामीटराइज विथ एस एच ए विथ आर एस ए इनक्रिप्शन डेटा मेंबर ऑफ पी के सी एस ऑब्जेक्ट आइडेंटिफायर दिस रिटर्न एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ आई साइनर इंटरफेस फर्दर आई एम इनिशियलाइजिंग दिस ऑब्जेक्ट विथ द प्राइवेट की जनरेटेड द फर्स्ट पैरामीटर इज सेट टू ट्रू बिकॉज वी वॉन्ट एनक्रिप्शन ऑफ दैट मैसेज डाइजेस्ट विद द जनरेटेड प्राइवेट की नेक्स्ट आई एम पासिंग द इनपुट मैसेज ऑफ सेट एंड लेंथ ऑफ द मैसेज फाइनली आई कॉल द जेनरेट सिग्नेचर फंक्शन टू जेनरेट द डिजिटल सिग्नेचर इन दीज लाइन्स ऑफ कोड आई एम कन्वर्टिंग द डिजिटल सिग्नेचर इन टू अ स्ट्रिंग फॉर डिस्प्लेइंग एट एट द कंसोल आई एम यूजिंग बाइट एरे टू स्ट्रिंग फंक्शन फॉर कन्वर्टिंग ऑफ द डिजिटल सिग्नेचर इन टू अ स्ट्रिंग दिस इज अ यूजर डिफाइंड फंक्शन एंड द डेफिनेशन ऑफ बाइट एरे टू स्ट्रिंग फंक्शन इज डिस्क्राइब्ड ओवर हेयर Similarly, for verification of the generated digital signature, I am using the same object of iSigner interface. However, initializing with public key this time. For verification, I am calling the verify signature function, which returns a boolean status for valid and invalid state of the digital signature. I am printing using a if else statement. over here so this was a sample code of how to generate a digital signature and verify that signature now we run this program to see the output of the program so first you need to build your pro solution to see whether any kind of error is there or not now run your program once i run it it is asking me to enter any kind of a string or text after entering it is showing that key pairs are being generated and we have to wait for few minutes for generation of the key pair so after generation of key pair you can see the public key it is displayed in your screen private key we are not being able to see because one should not show the private key or one should keep the private key secret with oneself next is the digital signature means the message that we have entered that is demo has been put to a hash function and the hash that is generated is encrypted with the private key to get this digital signature next is status of digital signature means after verifying of this digital signature it is showing the output that signature is valid thank you 